Today, I want to give you a tutorial to show you how you can take one long horizontal piece of content for YouTube, upload it into the AI tool called Opus.pro and turn it into seven to 10, maybe even 15 short form video clips because sometimes we just don't have time to create short form video and you can actually use what you're already doing with long content. It is important to note that you want to have high quality horizontal videos, not just some terrible video you did on Zoom or whatever that you want to repurpose. You do want to have a high quality piece of content that is long form. And I would encourage you to do at least 20 minutes. It is also important to know that you need to be shooting these videos at a distance, not a crazy distance, but at a distance. So right now my desktop is right here on my computer. Do you hear my computer? This is too close. So I have a camera set up over there a little bit, just a little bit further, not a whole lot, a little bit further. So that way, when I upload this video into Opus, I have some distance. And when the AI zooms in on me to turn it vertical, they have enough space to do so, okay? So I wanna give you and show you how to upload a clip. And then we're gonna show you what happens once you upload it. So right now we are inside of Opus where you can see I have a bunch of different videos that we have edited and things of that nature. But what we're gonna do is upload a brand new one, all right? So you are able to either uh, go to a Google Drive link or a link that's embedded somewhere else. Me, I normally record things into my camera on my computer or onto my camera, and then I will upload it here. So we're gonna go ahead and choose a file. I have a specific one that I wanna use. So let me go ahead and find that for you. There it is there. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and upload this into Opus.pro. So there is a free version and there's a paid version. The free version is really good and I put a link down in the description for you but you will run out of space, okay? You will run out of space on the free version. So it is really, really, really important that you upgrade and it's only $20 a month. It's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of energy and a lot of money if you go ahead and get the free version because it does so much, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go to my a dashboard because you see it's still uploading and all the things, but the video is actually already here and I'm gonna show you what happens once it uploads uploads. Okay, so now you can see that the video is uploaded and now it wants to know what do you want to do. So it's showing me that my video is 14 minutes and then I can have them just do auto clips or I can have them do 30 second videos, 30 to 60 second videos or longer. You can type in keywords if you want to. I normally just go ahead and hit 30 seconds. That way I have enough space in front and at the end in case I want to adjust the video. Then we're just going to go ahead and clip, uh, get clips. And then now it's going to go through the process. And so sometimes when it's in high demand, you'll be in a queue. But as you can see here, it's going to take about 20 minutes for it to pull the videos for me. So I'm not going to sit here and wait on it. I'm going to go and do other things. But we're going to go ahead and go to my dashboard. So while that video is still doing what it's doing, I'm going to pull up some other clips here on open so you can see what happens. So as you can see here, this is another video that I had and it shows you all the results of all the different videos that it was able to pull. Okay. So it's showing me that it was able to pull 13 different clips for me. Okay. So now what you want to do from there is you want to go ahead and start going into those clips and you want to watch them and do all the things. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit here. And then now what's going to happen is it's going to pull up the very first video. Okay. So it is going to kind of start it immediately. So if you don't want to hear the audio, you got to press pause, but here's the video here. And so right now you can see it's starting at, so as of right now, you're watching this video and you know, it's really important to have a great hook. So to have, to have it start off where it says, so as of right now, you're watching this video and I'm having a major, major surgery is probably not the best hook. So what I typically do is I will read through up here to see if I want to start somewhere sooner or I will read within here and see, do I want to start it a little bit later, okay? So I would probably say a hook for me where my audience would say, what's going on is if I start by saying, I'm I'm currently recovering, um, oh, no, 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 I, I just had a major surgery and I'm currently recovering. So I wanted to start right there. So all I have to do is click on I, and then you see this right here. I want the video to start right there. And then I am going to just read through here. Now it can just play and play and play. 
but because I'm doing this tutorial, I don't want it to play. So then I would just read through and determine where do I actually want this to stop, okay? I may want it to stop right here. So then I'll just click on um, going and then hit set in there. And then now I can watch the entire video, okay? So what you're gonna notice is that not only does it have this, but now it has the captions. Let me show it to you. So it's going to go ahead and put amazing text on there for you. You can use different types of templates for that if you want to. See the colors change and all the things depending upon what you choose up here with the preset template. I normally just go with the first one, but you know, I like the pink one too, you know, hey, hey, you know, and so sometimes you, you might want to do that, okay? And then what you do is you hit save and compile. And what that's going to do, that's going to adjust that clip to exactly where you want it to be so that when you're ready to download it, it's where you want it to go. So now what you can do is you can either download it immediately or you can just keep going through the process for all the videos that you want. Typically, I will go through the process and edit all of my videos and then I will download them all and then I will upload them for us, our team, into our Dropbox folder. And now my team has all the short form videos that I have done from opus.clips, okay? Uh, but also, if you want, you can schedule these to social media. So you see where I have a uh, YouTube connected, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn. You can schedule them all directly from opus.clips. Pro. It is quite the amazing tool, uh, especially if you're already somebody and you create long form content, you can utilize this tool to chop up that long content and turn it into short form clips. Just be very intentional with your hooks and your endings and all that, as well as your calls to action. So if you want to use opus.clips, there is a link as an affiliate link in the description. Uh, it is free for the first some odd minutes. It's a, it's a lot of minutes you're going to get there. And then it's only $20 afterwards. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have new videos that come out every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you have any other questions, comment down below.